In this video, I'll walk you through creating a new support request using our portal. You will need to create an account and login in order to submit a product registration or support request. After logging in, you'll notice two main options, product registrations and support requests. Before starting a support request, your product needs to be registered. Don't worry if you haven't done this yet, the portal will guide you through it when needed. Just click on Support Request to begin. To start a new return material authorization, simply click Create. You'll need to select whether you're experiencing a problem or just need some spare or replacement parts. After making your selection, click Next. Now, the system will ask which product this is for. If you've already registered your product, just click the magnifying glass icon to view all your registered products. Select the one you need help with and hit Select to continue. The nice thing is that all your product details name, serial number, purchase date, and registration information will automatically populate. Just click Next to proceed. If your product wasn't registered before starting this process, you'll need to register it now. On the registration page, simply click Next to begin. Enter your product's serial number and the product name should populate in the product section. If it does not, click the magnifying glass to search by model number or name, highlight the one you want, and press Select. Fill in your purchase date and use the magnifying glass to search for your distributor by city, zip code, state, or country. Highlight the one you want and press select to continue. If you have your proof of purchase handy, you can upload that too. After entering your product details, click Next to describe the issue you're experiencing. Just a few sentences will do, and don't forget, you can upload photos or videos to help us better understand what's happening with your product. The system automatically checks your warranty status based on your purchase date. If your tool is still under warranty, you'll see Yes under the warranty status. All you need to do then is click Next to submit your request, and we'll send you an email with shipping instructions. If your product is out of warranty, you'll see a flat repair fee displayed. You can pay this fee right in the portal using your credit card, or you can proceed without payment if you prefer. Just keep in mind that we'll need to receive payment before we can process the repair. Once you've submitted your request and any required payment, you'll receive an email with detailed instructions on where to ship your product for repair. Want to check on your repair status? No problem. You can track your support request anytime by simply logging back into the portal. And that's it. Your support request is now in our system and we'll take care of the rest. Just a quick note. To ensure your RMA request is fully submitted, please make sure to complete the process all the way to the Thank You for Your Submission page. If you exit before reaching that page, your request will remain in initiated status and won't be processed. Any incomplete entries are automatically deleted overnight, so finishing the submission helps us assist you as quickly as possible. Thank you.